Be ready for it. Yes. So my name is Natalia Spies Marakian because I am um, freshly married. As of right now, I am an amateur fighter, hopefully going pro uh, by the end of this year, 2019, making my kind of pro debut. <laughs> This week is an intense week because I'll be fighting on Friday. This is where it all comes together. You know, I've been training for a couple months out actually at an awesome gym in New Mexico. I've put some pressure on myself just going into this. It's like, look, I've invested a lot in this. Everyone around me has invested a lot in this. And so I just want to do good and put on a good show. I want that win and I want to show people who I am and what I'm capable of and that I can really do this. Snap. Snap. Yes, outstanding, outstanding. Work the full place back, maintain your gait. Keep your wish. Three, two, one. Excellent. Every hurdle that you must jump over is a resource and a tool for you to grow, to develop a new version of yourself, far superior than the one before. What are you? Unbreakable. What are you? Unbreakable. Unbreakable. Unshakable. Irreplaceable. Here we go. Fast feet. Get him going. Work. Work. Let's be speed. Let's be speed. Let's be speed. Come on. Recover. Good job. You're ready to stick. Now the workout can begin. Be a beast. Go hunt. Go eat. Come on. Get your dinner. So I'm gonna say this, anybody can get tired right now. Any human, any person, any girl you in your division can get tired at this point. But it takes someone very special to push past it. It takes someone a little bit more to get to that next level. I'm shaking everywhere. Mine is got a roar. Sounds like... My last fight was a year ago. Showed up the day of the fight, mentally just wasn't there. Second round, I got a TKO on me, which is a technical knockout. This flurry. I got mounted and I couldn't get out from it. Referee gonna step in and call a stoppage to this. It was probably one of the hardest things I've gone through just because I'm an extremely emotional person. It really crushed me at that point. Just kind of kept hitting this wall of self-doubt. I was at that first fight and um, she wasn't ready. She was not well prepared. Mixed martial arts calls on every test that you could have. The mental preparation is huge in this sport and it's huge for Natalia and she has a lot of challenges with that. While we were posing off, my opponent said something to me and I was so out of it, I don't necessarily remember what she said to me, but the minute she said something, I got in my head and that was, I had lost the fight before I even got in there. Short shot, right there. There you go. Short. You need a lot, tremendous amount of power. You sit in the right spot, and everything buckles. It'll be done. Again. Growing up, I did dance, I did theater. That's actually what helped me be able to transition into Muay Thai kickboxing. Understanding combos, understanding my body. Her dance background has helped with her rhythm okay. in the ring. Speed is there. 
just gotta like sit, sit you down a little bit and take your time. Let them deal with that, okay? Let them deal with that power. Otherwise, they just kinda gotta be arming it yeah. instead of hurting it. You wanna hurt them. You wanna hurt this person immediately. So, even if it's not like the best looking shot in the world, but effective and deadly. Yeah. All right, let's go. Hey, bro, this is a dance. It's just a dance. Dance. Dance in your head right there. Yeah. Let me turn on one of you. You're tired? I'm tired of winning. All right, let's pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. This week I'm cutting weight, preparing for my fight. So right now I have about four, maybe five if I want to be kind of coming under, so five pounds. We all have weight classes for the mixed martial arts. Hello old friend. You know, if you're booked at 125, you have to weigh in at 125 exactly. And a lot of us, we have a walking around weight and then a fight weight. We are completely manipulating our bodies to make this number on the scale. Let's go and do Let's go another round before we put you in there. I want you to have a good swipe one before we yeah. put you in there. And so food-wise, water-wise, we are able to do this through saunas, water loading, and then completely dehydrating. Weight cuts in general are one of the most challenging parts of this because it comes down to the mental game of it. If you can sit in that sauna crying and just being like, I just gotta get to that number, just get to that number, get through this. Let me cover you again. Go ahead. 10 minutes. Depending on how much weight the fighters are cutting, like the last day is kind of a starvation day. Mm -hmm. Too, so that'll be a couple ounces. Natalia, she's surrounded by people that are saying, you can do this, you can do this. You know, you just need to believe in yourself. 125.2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why my hair is at least two or three ounces. So I'm probably 124.9 or 0.8. Yeah, and imagine what you'd be when you wake up. Yeah. Years ago, I was not thrilled that she became so involved with it because I'm concerned about the health risks of it. But I believe that as a parent, you want to support your child to pursue their passion and be happy and, and find their bliss, whatever they want to do. Step on it. One Every fight, every practice, every minute that we spend doing this, she gains more confidence. Hey, Cam, see you at six o'clock. Fighter check in over here with me. Fighter check. On tonight's card, there are 22 fights. 19 of them are men, and there are only three fights that are women. All right, give those to the doctor. Uh, Jump in. Thank you so much, dear. Good luck. Grab my wrist. 
How's that feel? Good. Tonight's opponent, Christina Ramirez, who's a purple belt in jiu-jitsu, which is a perfect matchup for someone like Tally, because Tally's primary skill is Muay Thai. <laughs> Once they shut that door and they lock it, that's you and her. You. You. The game plan for tonight is we think that Christina is going to try and box with Tally. She discovers she can't, she's going to try and go for a takedown. And once she realizes she can't do that, fight's over. That's our game plan. Amidst all the pain and struggle, it's moments like these I know I was born to fight.